Hey everyone, and welcome back to Riding on the Floor. Hopefully yesterday you got a chance to uh, get a little bit further in your writing and uh, really got a chance to rehearse what you were going to say before you actually got a chance to write it down. Today we're going to move on to another new lesson. Okay, this one is probably one of the most important ones that we'll work on in the personal narrative, and it's called the heart of the story. Okay, thinking back to all the stories I wrote and all the memories that I have that I want to retell, there's always something that stands out in those stories as the really big point that I want to share. You know, whether it was the most interesting thing, the funniest thing, it's really the whole reason that I'm telling the story in the first place. Thinking back to the stories I've told, where I got stuck in the mud at the park, that was the big important moment. Where I got lost at the state fair, that's the big important moment. And what happens is, when we think back on these memories and these stories, there's a lot of things that happened in those days. So for example, when I got stuck in the mud at the park, I remember that morning I woke up and, you know, I brushed my teeth, I walked downstairs and ate some breakfast. And when I think about mentioning those things, they're just not as interesting as the big event where I got stuck in the mud. That was the scary part of the story. So when it comes to writing, why does the heart of the story matter? Well, the heart of the story is where you want to spend the most time and add the most detail. Let's think about it. So here I was stuck in the mud, and that morning I went down and I ate some breakfast. Let's listen to this story if I put a lot of detail on that part instead. One morning, I got out of bed and was really hungry. I walked downstairs and opened the refrigerator and grabbed the milk. Then I went to the pantry and looked at my cereal. Corn Pops, Fruit Loops, it was hard to decide. Finally, I grabbed the Cheerios and decided to pour them into the bowl. I slowly poured until the bowl was almost full and then closed the box back up. Then I unscrewed the cap from the milk and slowly poured it into the bowl. Now at this point, I put a lot of detail into a part that isn't really that interesting. I mean, I don't know about you, but me pouring a bowl of cereal is not the most interesting thing that you'll hear me retell. Instead, what I want to do is I want to think, well, what is the most important part of this story? What is the heart of the story? What makes this such a good, interesting memory? And again, that is me getting stuck in the mud of the park. I was 10 years old. I was scared at the time. It's much more interesting to hear that detail than me pouring a bowl of cereal. So boys and girls, you've written plenty of drafts right now. And what I want you to do is I want you to take a minute and you're going to pause the video and I want you to think back on a story that you've written recently and think to yourself, what was the heart of this story? Okay. Once you find that, I want you to think, did you take the time to put extra details and really slow the story down to a halt when you got to that heart of the story? We kind of skipped by some of the minor events, got up, ate breakfast, grabbed our bikes, rode to the park, but then really slow it down once you get to that really important part. So right now I want you to pick one story from your journal that you were working on recently, think about what the heart of the story is, and then reread it and see, did you spend enough time in the heart of the story? And then we'll come back. Hopefully you had a chance to take a look at one of your pieces and really think about the heart of the story. Is that the point where you added the most detail, added the most dialogue, and really spent the most time in your story? Okay. Remember, your story builds to the heart of the story. So it's going to move a little bit quicker until you get to that point. Almost picture a roller coaster, right? It climbs, 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 and then when you get to the top, it slows down almost to a stop. Consider that almost the heart of your story. You're going to go somewhat quickly through until you hit that heart of the story, and then I want you to slow it down really spend some time telling the details. Instead of me telling all about my breakfast and how I poured the bowl of cereal, instead talk about being stuck in the mud, how I felt, how tears started to roll down my cheeks as I was crying, how my blue and green shoes were stuck in there, how I yelled to my sister on what I wanted her to do and how I wanted her to help me. That's where you want to spend the time and the details. So if you looked back at one of your pieces and you found out, yeah, I didn't really slow down and tell many details in the heart of the story. Well, then you can go back and revise or use that to help you in your new writing piece. Think about ahead of time as you're air drafting, what's the heart of the story? And then how do I slow down? 
how do I add more detail and dialogue to make that part really stand out and that people know that that is my heart of the story. So boys and girls, that's your challenge for today. Whether you're starting something new or whether you're continuing uh, where you left off from yesterday, focus on the heart of the story. What's the reason you're telling the story? Is it something really funny happened, interesting, uh, possibly scary, um, really cool? Anything you can think of that made that memory worth retelling. Find the heart of the story and use that section to add the most detail out of your entire story. And then once you're finished with the heart of the story, tell a little bit more detail, but then mostly wrap it up. You don't necessarily have to continue your story on for a long time after that. So most importantly today, have fun.